Welcome to the course of Electronic Circuits 1 and Unit 4, Frequency Response of Amplifier. The objective of this unit is to analyze the frequency response of small signal amplifiers. First, you'll see the syllabus. Okay, first, you'll see what is frequency response of amplifier. Then, we'll analyze frequency response of amplifier with respect to circuit capacitors. Okay, then we'll calculate the short circuit current gain and then cutoff frequency. Uh, and again, F alpha, F beta, and the relationship. And unity gain cutoff frequency or gain bandwidth product. Then we'll see the uh, Miller effect. Okay, if some device is present in between input and output, then what is the effect of that device at the input side as well as at the output side? And also, we'll see the frequency response of FET, field effect transistor and high frequency analysis of uh, common emitter amplifier and MOSFET common source amplifiers then finally transistor switching times okay now okay now first topic our first topic is how to draw the amplifier frequency response with the semi log graph it is something how the uh, gain of the amplifier varies with respect to frequency. How the gain of the amplifier varies with respect to frequency. That is the amplifier frequency response. Okay. How how the gain of how the gain of amplifier how the gain of amplifier varies varies with respect to varies with respect to frequency varies with respect to frequency so that's amplifier frequency response okay so what is the gain of the amplifier with respect to frequency that means what when you vary your operating frequency the gain of the amplifier is getting varied then you have to measure the gain each and every frequency then finally you have to plot the graph okay so so finally you have to uh, calculate what is the voltage gain and then for the corresponding frequency so for the corresponding frequency what is the voltage gain that you have to measure then finally you have to draw it on the graph for that we will use semi log graph for that we will use semi log graph okay semi log graph that means semi log means either x or y will be having a log nature and then another part will be having ordinary linear nature that's why this graph is called semi-log graph. That was specifically the frequency axis. The frequency axis will have log nature. Frequency axis will have log nature. Then the axis of voltage gain axis will have linear nature. Linear nature. That's why the name is called semi-log graph. Then why we are using log nature for frequency? Because the range of frequency is large, okay, because range of frequency is large, then because the range range of range of frequency is large, range of frequency is large. Okay, when the range of frequency is large, you, it is very difficult to denote it with the help of um, linear graph, okay, linear scale. That's why you go for log uh, nature, log graph. Okay, so we'll use a similar graph. Okay, next uh, we'll see what is similar graph, how it looks. Okay. okay, this is the structure of the similar graph. Okay, so and if you see here uh, this axis, okay, say and if you if you observe here along this axis, this is linear nature, okay, because the unit is always same, okay the spacing is same but once if you go in this direction okay see uh, that uh, spacing between the lines is not uniform okay so this is of log nature actually this is of log nature so in this axis we will denote the frequency okay in this axis we will denote the frequency okay in this axis we will denote the voltage gain in this axis we will denote the voltage gain okay in general okay how to denote the frequency how to denote the frequency say for example okay first of all you should know what is the operating frequency for simplicity i start with 0.1 hertz 
if you denote this as a point one hertz, then this one is one hertz, and this one is ten hertz. Okay, and this one is hundred hertz, and this one is one k, and this one is ten k, and this is hundred k. Okay, because um, see, whenever you, you put the values in a logarithmic scale, you have to put it uh, in terms of ten, in terms of ten, because once if you take the logarithmic ratio, then you'll get equal values. Okay, okay that's why you have to put with a multiple of ten. Okay, so when this is zero point one hertz, then definitely this is zero point two, zero point three, like that it comes. Or otherwise, if you go here, if this is one, this is two, three, four, five, like that. If this is ten, then what is the meaning of this one? This line is twenty and thirty, forty, okay, fifty, like that. Okay, if it is between hundred, two hundred, one k, then this point is called two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, like that. Okay, if it is in between, if this is one k. Okay, this is two k, three k, four k, like that it comes. Okay, so okay, what is the range? What is your range? Then in that uh, you have to calculate the uh, frequency value accordingly. Okay, this is the concept of similar graph. Then once if we know the range of voltage gain, then you can denote the voltage gain here. Say for example, if you start, if your voltage gain is in between some value, say in between around fifty or forty, then you can start like this. You can start with a ten. Okay, fifteen, twenty, 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 twenty-five, thirty, forty, forty-five, fifty, like that it goes because this is of linear scale. Okay, now this axis, x-axis is uh, denoting the frequency, and y-axis is denoting the voltage gain. Then once if you have the uh, tabular values. Uh, that means mapping between the frequency and the voltage gain then you can easily find out on this graph then finally you have to connect all the dot points then finally it will give you the graph from the graph you can observe something you can observe uh, bandwidth and some other uh, properties of our frequencies of the amplifiers okay so in the next so next i will take some values some example values then i will try to denote it on the graph Okay, and again, this is not the only way to take the frequencies. You can take it in some other way also. Because suppose if your operating frequency comes around one megahertz, two megahertz, like that, then accordingly I have to take this uh, range of values. Okay, say uh, say I would I will take like this. Okay, so if my operating frequency is in higher range, so while starting itself I can put hundred hertz. If it is hundred hertz, then this is one k. This is ten k. This is 100k, and then this is 1 megahertz, and this is 10 megahertz, like that. I can choose. Okay, so according to the operating frequency range, okay, I have to choose a number, starting number. Okay, so because our final waveform, uh, final graph, has to fit into this uh, uh, similar graph. So idea. In such a way, we have to start our number, and we have to proceed accordingly. Here also, you, you should know. in the beginning itself what is the range of the number then you have to start accordingly okay so that's the idea so now i'll go to the i i'll take some tabular values example values then i will mark the point on the graph then i will connect finally i will form a response okay now suppose for a particular amplifier if the response is like this okay some already have measured okay so if the frequency is 30 hertz this is 20 voltage gain is 20 And then 50, then voltage gain is 30. When it is 1k, this is 45. And then, okay, what is happening? It's slowly increasing. It's reaching maximum. Then slowly it is decreasing. Okay, so I have a tabular values. Now I have to denote that value in the graph. In the graph. Okay, so first in the beginning itself. Uh, okay, I'll um, I'll see what is the range of the. Uh, frequencies okay it starts at 30 so like that i'll choose here say i can choose here uh, like um, okay please okay so uh, i can choose at 10 i can start at 10 okay then i can go accordingly because um, this is 10 hertz if this is 10 hertz then this is 100 100 hertz And this is what one uh, k, 
टेन के हंड्रेड के ओके टेन के हंड्रेड के एंड देन वन मेगाइट्स ओके वन मेगाइट्स देन टेन मेगाइट्स लाइक दैट आई कैन चूज सिमिलरली यार माय वोल्टेज गेन स्टार्ट्स एट ट्वेंटी सो दैट्स व्हाई आई कैन चूज यार फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन ओके फिफ्टीन बिकॉज दिस इज द वे डायरेक्शन दिस इज फिफ्टीन then voltage gain 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 like that it goes okay so uh, so now first what is the first point 30 hertz okay this is 10 hertz okay this is 10 hertz okay then 20 and then this is 30 hertz when i am at 30 hertz Say for example, exactly here when I am at thirty hertz. Okay, when I am at thirty hertz. Okay, so what is my value? That is twenty. Okay, so twenty is here. When I am thirty, my value is twenty, like here. Okay, when I am fifty, my value is thirty. Okay, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Okay, so my value is uh, around thirty. Okay, so twenty, thirty is here. Okay, this is a uh, frequency twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. So it comes here. Okay, like that. Uh, for three hundred, it is around forty. Okay, for three hundred hertz. Okay, so it, this is hundred hertz. Then two hundred, three hundred hertz comes here. When it is three hundred hertz, this is forty. Okay, when it is of eight hundred hertz, then it's around forty-three. Okay, eight hundred hertz will come here. It is around forty-three. Okay, forty-three. Okay, so when it is one k, this is exactly forty-five. Exactly forty-five. When this is ten k, and again forty-five. When it is hundred k, again forty-five. When it is two hundred k, what is the value? When it is two hundred k, the value is around forty. This is two hundred k. then when it is 500k this is around 30 okay 30 this is 200 300 400 500 comes here come somewhere here uh, and again when it is 900 it's around 25 and it is 900 it's around 25 okay, when it is 1 1m 1 mega it's it's around i think 24 okay it's around 24 Okay, like that. Okay, now I will connect all the lines. Okay, so once if I connect, say this goes like this. Okay, I will connect all these lines like this. Okay, so okay, so. i have taken some random values only so once if you take properly then your curve will be very very smooth okay so this is the way how to uh, how to note down the points on the similar graph then how to connect finally it will give you the response of the amplifier from this one thing is very clear when when it is of at low frequencies your gain is less it is gradually increasing then reaching some maximum value then as you go beyond some frequencies then you are uh your gain starts decreasing your gain starts decreasing then okay then at what frequencies i have to operate the i have to operate the transistor at what frequency what is the range of frequency where i can operate my transistor that question arises okay for that there is a definition okay already you have a voltage gain of 45 okay so you take okay this is the maximum voltage gain okay this is a ab max okay this is a maximum voltage gain that is 45 then you take 0.707 times of 45 you take 0.707 times of 45 okay 0.707 times of 45 means a ab max okay uh, i'll write a max ab max then what is the value just to calculate 70 percentage of the maximum value 
okay then the 70 percentage of the maximum value is around 31.8 around 31.8 it comes uh, here okay around 31.8 okay so it's like around 32 okay so uh, 31 32 it's around here it's somewhere here okay you note down that point similarly you'll get the same number 32 here also here also you'll get the same number 32 now you mark that frequencies okay say this frequency is f1 and this frequency is f2 okay now now you extend you extend this to down this also you extend it to down okay extend it to down then then you calculate the difference between this frequency you calculate the difference between this frequency that is called as bandwidth okay bandwidth of the particular amplifier bandwidth of the particular amplifier f2 minus f1 okay what is the meaning of the bandwidth of the amplifier it is a range of frequencies over which the gain of the amplifier is at least at least 70 percentage of the maximum gain at least 70 percentage of the maximum gain at least 70 percentage of the maximum gain okay gain means here we are dealing about the voltage gain here we are dealing about the voltage gain okay so okay again with this i will stop this video in later classes i will tell you uh, how to convert this values into dbs okay in db domain also we can draw this diagram okay so uh, with this i will close now thank you